In this Lightroom tutorial video, I'll show you how this simple effect can help make your bird photos pop so they stand out better on your screen or in your prints. In my last YouTube video, I talked about this certain thing that helped improve my photography. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave it at the end of this one for you to check out a little bit later on. But what I'm gonna be doing in this video is using a shot from that video, and I'm gonna do it up in Lightroom here. I've got this shot of this bird that I took out in my bird garden. This is a superb fairy wren, it's a female. Now for this shot, I used my Z7 with the Nikon Z 180 to 600 millimeter lens. The settings were, I was at 600 millimeters f 7.1, the ISO was 500 and my shutter speed was 1600. Now you're probably saying, well, why'd you use such a fast shutter speed for a bird that's stationary? These guys are not normally stationary. They flit around so quickly. So yeah, I just had to increase that shutter speed just that little bit more, just so I could freeze the action on the bird. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you this very simple effect in Lightroom that's gonna help make your bird photos pop. So what I'm gonna to do to begin with, I'm gonna crop this shot. I'm gonna make it 16.9 because we're watching on YouTube. You might be watching this at home on your TV, on your laptop or on your phone. 16.9 just makes it much more better. Wider screen for you to check out the shot. So to do that, we go up to our crop tool. I'm going to go and select 16.9. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just use the rule of thirds here. I'm just gonna put my little fairy wren just onto the right hand side here, just like so. Okay, so crop that, hit return, and there's our finished type of framing that we're gonna be using. Now next, I'm gonna very quickly do up this shot roughly the way I would normally do it. So I'm just gonna increase the exposure just a little bit, uh, add a little bit of contrast, Highlights, I'm actually gonna just drop down. So in the background there. Shadows, I'm gonna lift it up because you can see the bird's head is in a little bit of shadow because this was taken in the early morning sun. You can see the sun coming right across and we've got a little bit of shadow there on her face. So let's lift that shadow up. It's a little bit better. Whites, I'm just going to increase just a smidge, say to about nine and blacks. I'm just gonna drop that down as well, just down to something like about 15, that'll do. So as this shot stands right now, it's not too bad, but we can make it better with this simple effect. To do this effect, we're gonna be using the masking tool. To use the masking tool, come over to, to where this little icon is, right on the right hand side of screen, click on that. What we need to do is we need to go down and select a radial gradient. So click on that. Come over to our little fairy wren, get into about the center and I'm gonna hold down and drag that gradient and you can see the red type of thing going over top of the bird there. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Now don't worry if you miss out, you can grab these little handles on the side of the gradient and just make it a little bit wider. You can also drop it down a little bit. I don't wanna to go too much over the legs, it's mainly around that bird that I just wanna get some differentiation happening between the bird and the background and that's what this effect will do. So as you can see at the moment, the bird shot is okay, but in the background, it's just not doing it for me. The bird doesn't stand out enough over the background. Using this very simple masking effect technique, I'll show you how it will change it. So we've got our radial gradient happening over this fairy wren now. Now I'm pretty happy with that radial gradient. It's just enough over top of the bird. Now what we need to do is expand this little details box out, go to where it says mask one. We need to right click on these little three dots. Go to intersect with mask using select subject. And Lightroom does a pretty good job of this. It will select the fairy wren for me. So I'm just gonna hit select subject. Let it do its magic. Now I'll just minimize this box so you can see this screen a little bit better. Now you can see that Lightroom has done a pretty good job in selecting the fairy wren. It's now colored in red, but what we need to do is invert that. So come over to where it says invert next to subject and hit invert. And now you can see that radial gradient has gone behind the fairy wren. So this now opens it up for us to do more work in the background. Now you can change your exposure here. You can give this nice little halo effect to this bird by lifting up your exposure. You can see the background there is just changing. That's okay, you can do that. You can also adjust all your contrast, your highlights, your colors, whatever but I'm not gonna use that. What I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna come back over. I'm just gonna hit this back to zero for the exposure. Just scroll down to where it says effects and you'll see dehaze. What we're gonna do is push this dehaze down and you'll see that it gives a more natural highlighted effect behind the bird instead of that exposure. You can see using the background color, it gives it that little bit more pop. I'm just gonna drop that dehaze effect down just a little bit so the little fairy wren stands out on the background there. See, that's much better. So what we've done is we've actually recreated something like a warm highlight from the sun of the bokeh in the background just using Lightroom. So just pushing in on this fairy wren's face, I'm just gonna push in here. You'll notice she's got this little tiny bit of cobweb on her beak. Now, you could leave that, it looks quite natural, but I like to make my bird picks look quite nice and finished. So very easy to get rid of that. What we need to do is we come over to our eraser tool here on the right hand side. Now I'm gonna use the generative AI tool just to fix this. So if we come over now, and if you need to enlarge that type of little selection tool, just come up to your square brackets and you can enlarge it like this, or you just minus it. So we don't need that much. I'm just gonna paint right around where these little cobwebs are and let Lightroom do its thing. And there you go, those cobwebs are history around her beak. So let's just go back out to full screen now. Um, what I might do is I might just give this a little tiny bit more color. So I'm just gonna come down to uh, where it says saturation in the color. I'm just gonna lift it up by about 10. Okay, let's go out to full screen. To go to full screen, you just hit F on your keyboard. And let's just have a look at the before and after. To do that, you're just gonna hit the backslash on your keyboard. So this is our before. So as you can see in the before shot, the bird wasn't really standing out that much. Whereas now, when we apply our effects, hit the backslash button again. And now you can see our little female superb fairy wren is standing out much better on the background and it's popping out of the screen just that little bit better. It's such a simple effect, but it really does help make your bird photos pop out of that screen. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this Lightroom tutorial helpful. It's a very subtle effect, isn't it? And the great thing is, is you don't have to lighten things in the background. Say you might have a white bird on a white background, then you can actually darken that background so your bird stands out better. Anyway, as I always say, never stop creating. And I'll see you next time.